been a while I know you're thinking the same But I've been feeling like A moment can't go to waste I let go of your name, girl I figured that was it I'm Sir Joshua Gaming, and today I don't want to talk, I don't want to be like talking about a new announcement or maybe playing any games. I'm just going to be explaining how a certain game I've been playing for a while now works. I'm not sponsored by the people who made the game, and I just really want to talk about it because I enjoyed the playing the game. So it's a text-based adventure game. I'm not sure if any of you know about it. Mostly you should, and if some of you don't, so the basic premise is you play in a story, like a text-based story. Actually, it would be better to show you that. Let me show you. To create a new single player, you can play single player, multiplayer, and with each one, you get a select few of chosen stories you want. So you can have a fantasy story, a mystery, an apocalypse, a zombies, a cyberpunk, a custom, archive custom, and archive of special ones, because archive means, let me show you, archive means this. You get these, Tiger King and Corny. I don't know what those are, but they're, they're in the archive, apparently. And then custom is basically where you make your own custom story that you want. Instead of these, it could be a custom. And then we have fantasy, which I like, and I'm going to choose. So in fantasy, I can choose out of these types of characters, and guess which one I'm choosing? Wizard. Yeah, most of you probably would say, nerd alert! Well, no, I'm not a nerd. This is a pretty fucking OP. I'm not going to lie to you, they're fucking OP. Okay, so basic idea, yep. I've already read all of this. So, the basic idea is here that the AI that controls this entire game basically generates a story for you based off the information you give. And then, 
after you've got the story in the plot line, you start typing in your actions, which is do, what you say to people, or what you say aloud, which is say, and what happens next in the story, which is story. So you can, and once you do that, the AI changes the story based on your information you've given to it. You can undo your actions or redo an action, or you can edit the story like this. If you don't like something in it, or you want to take a part of like a script out, you can do that. And if you want to put a new part in, you can do that too. And the AI, the AI will move on to that script, and then it will literally change the story based on what you've edited. This is basically what the AI will remember, what you want it to remember in the story. And this is the reload. So what this does is basically this. So it basically regenerates what the AI said previously. So it will recreate a new script, completely new. Like it's basically a random new script that it will make out. And now here is the menu for an adventure. You can invite your friends. You you can have feedback. You can you can do some feedback. You got quests, adventure settings, help. Quests is basically this. So when you start a story, you get a quest, or you should, unless it's like um. Well, we'll get to that part next. But yeah, you get quests. For me, I have to find the book of essence. We have new multiplayer. Fantasy, horror, apocalypse, cyberpunk, battle, and custom. Like I said, custom is basically you making your own story. But if you don't want to do any of that, and you just want to like, and you're thinking about, I don't want to like do any of that. I want someone to make a story for me. And there is that option. Because here, if you go into this menu, you have home, which is here. But you just click that, go here. Explore is where you can find scenarios. Scenarios is basically the plot line of the story so people have made scenarios like actual people who not like the actual developer but people who play the game can make their own scenarios for people to play and you can play it if you you can make your own scenario but you can play it as well which is pretty cool <laughs> okay that <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i'm not going to say anything about that but damn oh Interesting. I might. Yep. I might. No. Okay. That one looks interesting. Um. I'm going to keep that one in mind. Anyway. What the fuck is that? Okay, this is getting weird. So basically, people can do some cool scenarios or very weird and fucked up ones like you just saw, which they make. And the adventures. Basically, you remember how we went single player and multiplayer? That's adventures. They're stories that the AI creates straight off, and you just build off of. But you can make them public for people to play as well. So that you can give your stories to people, and they can do whatever they want with it. But if you don't feel like any of that, like going playing other people's things, and you want to make your own scenario, then you simply go to my stuff, which is here. So you can create a new scenario for you to build. Here, I'll show you what it does. When you create a new scenario, you make the title, the description, the prompt, the memory, the quests, and then this you don't need to worry about unless you do want to, the tags, and then all these options. And see, here it is. It will be saved here for you, ready to edit it. But considering I don't want it right now, refresh there we go so and then you can just search up your titles and description and tags for any of the ones you've made if you have a bigger list and you want to search for a specific one you've made in the past this is how you find it and adventures are the ones like i said single player and multiplayer this is where they'll be saved so i've made scenarios like anime world exploration so what that means is you get to play in a world of an anime series you love you just simply let me show you. I'll start up right now. I'll show you what happens. So you enter an anime series you like. So I love One Piece. I've always loved One Piece. It's a great anime and it's it's cool. I love it. And you enter your character's name. 
and generating the story. There you go. And watch what happens. So your name is So your name is Joshua. You are a side character in the anime One Piece. You have been selected to join the other One Piece fans of, of the world to help decide the future of the world and live in it. If you don't like what the AI has chosen for you and you really want to be in the world, sometimes this may happen. You simply oh no wrong one. Reload. Like that. Yep. Oh my god, you are also a stupid, impulsive idiot who doesn't think before he acts and gets himself in trouble. And you were born in the orange town of Grove. One piece. See? It's basically giving you your own little plot line and saying that you are in the actual series. So that way you can interact with the characters from it. It's pretty cool. And if you have a specific anime series you want, you can put it in there and it will give it to you. Because this AI is smart. It will know what you're talking about when it comes to anime and anything else. And I won't play games or games. It's not very popular right now, but because this one is. See the arrows? That means how many likes it got and the comments right there. You just click on those icons and then you get to comment or like. This doesn't have any likes currently. Which I'm a little upset about. But I won't play a game. Saw movies is basically based on the Saw movies. You know, Jigsaw, the serial killer who kills people using his games and his contraptions. But he doesn't kill them in, in person. You know, he uses traps and things like that to kill them. But yeah, Jigsaw. The basic idea is you get kidnapped from him. and You got kidnapped by him, sorry. And you have to escape his twisted game. And if you don't, you die. And who you're going to kill next is basically you playing as a serial killer who has a code. What that code means is you have to follow the code. It's basically how you kill people and how you choose to dispose of their body and who you kill. So what that means is basically the, their gender, their religion, what they believe in, basically anything that you find that you target. Like, basically, it's like a trait that they have or something they have that you use to target them or basically choose your victims. That's how you choose your victims, by using your code, choosing what you want from them. If it's female and you choose to kill females, then that's it. If you choose to kill males who have a certain, like, condition, then that's your code. But yeah, that's how that works. So rock and roll, you can be a rock star as well. So what this means is you start off as a newbie like musician who wants to become a rock star. His dream is to become a rock star. His or sh her dream, doesn't matter what gender you are, just as long as the one dream matters. So basically, you start off as a rookie. But you mo slowly move your way up the ranks until you become a full-on rock star. And you can name your band. Yes, you can name me Matt. This is my latest game on. In this scenario, you're in a video game. Like, you're playing in a video game in the story. Like, as in, you're a character in a video game and you control him. But yeah, that's the basic idea of all this, and... If you guys want to play these scenarios or any scenarios people have made or even try the game out, then I'll say this. It can be played on computer or mobile. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Zero Joshua Gaming, out. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we we try to be a negative bull, yeah, we could be taking control. Yeah. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we we try to be a negative bull, yeah, we could be taking control. Yeah. We could be taking control. 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 We could be taking control.
try to be a negative bull. Yeah, we can be taking control. Yeah, if we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we we try to be a negative bull. Yeah, we can be taking control. Yeah, negative bull. Yeah, we can be taking control. Yeah, negative bull. We can be taking control. We can be taking control. We can be taking control.